Hi, there are three types of compounds, alloys, ionic compounds, and molecules. And with this little video module, we'll talk about alloys. Now looking at the periodic table of the elements, the periodic table of the elements is broken down so that the left side of that red staircase is metals. The top right, nonmetals. And you could really get detailed and talk about that there are a few of the elements on the staircase that are metalloids. We're just going to just strictly break it up into metals and nonmetals. Now alloys are composed of exclusively metals. So we're talking about the left of the uh, staircase here. Let's make a couple of notes about alloys. Now an alloy is not a single metal. An alloy is a blend of metals. So I made a little note that it's a blend of metals. For example, brass is an alloy. You won't find the element brass on the periodic table of the elements because brass is not an element. You might find Br for bromine, but brass is a blend of metals. Particularly, brass is made out of quite a bit of copper, which is what gives it its copper looking color, and then a little bit of zinc. The reason we make brass alloys is because maybe we're not fond of exactly what copper has to offer. For example, oh, copper will tend to rust or tarnish little kind of like tarnish marks on a penny, and zinc will help you out there. And also, maybe it's not the right flavor, it's not the right color that people want. Now we make brass fixtures. This spigot is made out of brass and doesn't look like brass. You're thinking it looks shiny like it's chrome. Well, what they do is they make it out of brass because they can mold brass and it, la it lasts a long time. And uh, it's not soft like some other metals. This is a good rigid fixture. But the architect said, well, we want this to be all shiny, so they put a coating of chromium metal on the outside. Now brass, this is one flavor of brass, copper and zinc. Brass has the look and feel of copper, but maybe a better protection against tarnish because it has zinc added in. So we use alloys because we're not happy with a single component. Bronze. Bronze is an alloy. So the first place person gets a gold, second place silver, third gets an alloy, bronze. Bronze is copper and SN, which stands for tin. Now, not all of these, brass and bronze, are just limited to these two, because if somebody isn't happy with the bronze going, well, we like the copper and the tin, but it's not quite giving us the color that we want, they might put in a little bit of some other metal to change the color. Sometimes we find that will add a little bit of phosphorus. People will say it whitens it or gives it some other physical property. So don't be surprised to learn that, well, these bronzes, it fluctuates. Also, I do not know the compositions, meaning I don't know if the brass that I'm looking at is 5% zinc and 95% copper or 6 and 94. People vary it based on what color do you want. So always, always, always changing. And now for the number one alloy. We don't make things out of steel regularly. We make them out of I said that wrong. We make things out of steel. We don't make things out of iron. Steel is our number one alloy. Iron tends to do something, rust. And so if we go ahead and add a metal uh, to iron, we can get it to be more protective. We can get it to be more resilient. Now what we do is we go ahead and take iron. We'll melt it. So we heat it up in a big cauldron. This is old, old chemistry. And then add some other metals. For example, to a lot of iron, we might add some chromium. And the chromium has this property of making the steel so that it isn't pitted. Uh, steel is nasty to run your fingernails over. It's always pitted and you go, oh, it's, it's dirty and it's pitted, maybe even rusty. Chromium helps solve that, so we might call it stainless or surgical steel if we add chromium. And you can add other metals. Some people will say, well, I want my metal to be titanium because it's going to make my alloy steel uh, lighter stronger, things like this. So we'll use titanium. People call it a titanium alloy. Also, if you have iron, maybe a little bit of chromium, you can add something, and it is an exception to the metal rule because carbon is not a metal, it's a non-metal, but we'll add some carbon graphite, some black powder, it's pure carbon. And the reason we're doing that is it makes things like automobile frames stronger, more brittle. And so uh, they'll go ahead and put in some carbon. So alloys are blends of metals where people have taken the metals, heated them up, mixed them, and then probably forged them, extruded them into sheets, and uh, we have our alloys. Alloys are really not a common topic for us in Chem 121. It's like we mentioned them a little bit, but we're not doing a lot with them. Not a lot of chemistry involved. Mold them.